So some time ago, popular Yugi tuber Simo started something called Master Duel Masochist, a challenge series in which a brand new account builds a deck out of five master packs, and with every win, you gain a new one as well as any bonus legacy packs to improve it. So we watched it and thought, this looks fun, let's give it a shot. What's up guys, Toastricord Gaming back here in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel Masochist. Now, if you watched the last stream, we did not make it anywhere out of Flat 5, but that isn't going to stop us. And we did try and work on building a dragon deck, but unfortunately we don't have enough cards yet in order to get it. So that's why we're here now. Are we going to win? I don't know. Only one way to find out. Though I am still really liking my reptile deck. Never thought I would. But here we are. Alright, so we're against McLovin. Wasn't that a character from a movie? Yeah, I think, because the actor can't escape that name. Each time a spell is activated. Yeah, Magical Something. <laughs> Probably the most hilarious name ever. Go to battle phase. And... Set this. Now we wait. What are they gonna do? I think if we win... No, we don't rank up if we win this. Hmm... Now, unfortunately, we don't have that many spells in hand, but that doesn't really stop us. There's the problem card. I was worried it was a Dark Magician player. Usually when you see this, this, and this, it tends to happen. Target one monster your opponent controls. But if they activate spell cards. Unfortunately, we don't get attack boost, and the quick play spell is only good for their turn, but it's better than nothing, I guess. Is this game? Indeed it is! Easy win! I must say, I was concerned. I think they might have bricked. And with that, we are instantly in plat 4. So, I ain't gonna complain. And we get... Little D. Yo, this Tyrannosaurus Tot's got a tiny temper. A terrible temper. And a legacy pack. What were they playing, I wonder? They may have bricked. No, they they bricked. They bricked hard. Man, that, that bites. That's a weird card to pick. Oh well. Straight to the master packs. Alright, master pack time. This is always the exciting part. Alright. Dark burning attack. Wow, isn't that ironic? Leaf forts. Uh, we can't use you. Double X Saber, full Helm Knight. Opponent's monster declares an attack. You can target this attacking monster. Wait. Negate the attack. Okay. 
So this is a negate and a level three tuner, so not terrible. X sabers. Gishki chain. Ritual support. Not the best. Crusadia. Watt Fox. Another tuner. Hedge guard. And Luna Light Crimson Fox. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know if we can do anything with it, but who knows? Let me know in the comments if there's something we can do. Cloning. This could be useful. And the light hex sealed fusion. Must be correct. Fusion material monster. You don't say. Now, does this open up more possibilities for us? Ah, here we are. Ah, yes. And if you did, missed out on the stream, the live stream on Sunday, we managed to pull this little number from our master pack. Let's we'll start with this. Now, they're running Dragon Maid sleeves, deck box, icon, and dual mates, so it is very likely they're running Dragon Maids. Oh, that's annoying, isn't it? How convenient that they pull this. I would really like it if this got limited to one, that way it would also help other real-life players who can't get a hold of it very often. First time fighting Dragon Maids. Destroys that, and now they can't special summon back their monster. Ah, that's a good discard. If we could get Moon Mirror Shield and equip it to Spirit Reaper, that would be hilarious fun. Ah, Beastials. I've said it once and I'll say it again. I don't like that they ever released Albaz. I would have been happier if they didn't make Albaz lore. Now he's going to summon out Shio using the Alubar in his hand. But no, let's banish monsters from your opponent's graveyard as well. Why did you do that? Why did you... Why would you do that? You could have fusion summoned from your hand to begin with. You didn't have to special summon it. That doesn't make any sense. Now, if we negate its card...
Now, we cannot summon our Defender of the Labyrinth because we don't have another normal monster, but... You know what? We will take that. We will totally take that. We didn't really have an out, but we'll take it. What that tongue do? And three legacy packs. Let's go check them out. Oh, we got an SR, hopefully. Fingers crossed it's one we can use. If we even get one. Okay, we do. Cyber Dragon Veer. Okay, we don't have Cyber Dragons. Zambawow. It gains 500 attack. If this card is destroyed. Sends of the great. So a level 1 monster with 0 attack and defense from the deck. Its effects are negated. Interesting. Justice of Prophecy. During the end phase, if you activate a spellbook card previously this turn, you can banish this from the field. Add both 1 level 5 or higher light or dark spellcaster. We don't have this. Ojamas. Jackabolan. This card is a zombie monster. Special summon this card from your hand. This would be a free body. Exodia, the Exodius, the ultimate forbidden lord. We have two pieces of Exodia. Virtual world, Roshi, Lao Lao. I don't think we have other virtual worlds. And Gravekeeper's Visionary. Hmm. Not the best. Could have been. Could always be better. What about them legacy ones? All right, let's take a look. First, we have Dark Geroid. Target one monster on the field, loses 800 attack. Okay, not bad if we're going second. And we have a special summon. Insector Giga Weevil. Face of Insector monster you control. We don't really run Insectors. I mean, we could run insects, but unless we're Simo and pull Bear Grum, highly unlikely. Mila, the Temporal Magician. Hmm. Target a set card your opponent controls and look at it. That would be very useful for removing background. That looks like Lina, the Charmer. Light Charmer. Horus' Servant. That's terrible. Divine Dragon Ragnarok. This, we can actually have some uses for this. Ancient Tool. Yeah, that's me. In the Ruins of the Ancients. Now, that's an actual place in the Duel Monster lore. But Divine Dragon Ragnarok, we could use this. Ooh, Double Ice Arena. They have good taste. Hmm. Now, we did learn that over the stream, thanks to sh thanks to a viewer, Jube, that Galif the Phantom Bird cannot destroy field spells, which proves he's outdated, I'm afraid. Invoked. Alistair invoked. It's a good thing we put Forbidden Chalice in the deck for this very purpose. Also, I didn't know that was an icon you could get. They're going to go into Makaba. Nope.
Earthbound Prisoner. Yet for some reason, Invocation is not locked to Invoked Archetype. For some reason. Activate cards or effects. That's a fun card, isn't it? Well, that's just a nice load of unbalanced, isn't it? This is why we need a masochist mode. You know what, maybe I'll just host a masochist-only tournament. Maybe that will be the right thing to do. It's not like Konami cares about anything else. Alright, here we are in the real game, because that last opponent we were going to, going to go up against didn't connect or there was a server issue. Now, if we can pull Angel 07 and tribute this for it, then we are set. As long as they don't pull any spell card shenanigans. But they're using the tier limits. Speaking of which. Which has never been banned. They nerf it, and I'm like, just stop limiting the cards. Just ban the archetype. Banisher would be very useful here. And of course, I don't play this archetype, so I can't do anything about it. Because I would like Konami to remove it. I'm sorry, they just have too much synergy. You can't do anything against them. So there's no way to beat Tier Lament. That's what it is. Because Konami didn't think about anything when they made it. Never seen that back... That dual spot before. Or graveyard type. Alright, we have... We'll set this. Special summon this.
Well, that got through to their solemn, at least. Now we could try using those new fusion cards. Wow, Sprite. Another, I'm sorry, the Albaz and... I'm pretty sure a lot of problems in the Yu-Gi-Oh! player base would not have happened if neither Albaz or... the Visa Starfrost monsters were never made. We wouldn't have so many problems today. Sorry, why can't we use Keen? Okay, he hasn't normal summoned. Now they're going to go into Sprite. Sprint. Hmm. I feel like they should be locked into only summoning Thunder Monsters. Like, they need more... With how much they can use, they need to be more locked into certain types. Was like, oh, level twos. I'm like, I'm sorry, they're super splashable. Anybody can run them. There's the elf.
Okay, let's see here. Send one level two monster into the graveyard. That effect is used up. Activate the monster effect and contribute one other level two. Hmm. Well, That uses up in the gate and banishes those three. That's actually a good pull. But I believe that means that our battle phase is skipped. Okay, so we can't do that. We don't even get to go into our main phase two. It just skips us straight to the end phase, which I don't find is all that fair. It just says no battle phase. The battle phase is skipped, but it goes straight to end phase. I fail to see how that exactly is fair when I don't get the choice to go to my main phase two. Because it doesn't say, it just says skip the next battle phase. It doesn't say anything about ending your turn on. They're probably going to go into access code at some point. I'm sorry, if I'm competing at a locals and I play Runix, I'm just going to say activate it, skip main phase, skip battle phase, main phase two. And if a ref says it goes to your end phase, I say show me on the card where it says go to your end phase. I did not decide I will end. I am in my main phase two. I don't care what the ref says. If it doesn't say on the card, it don't mean jack to me. Always remember, if you ever play Runix and you activate their cards and you're playing IRL, declare that you are going to skip effect skip battle phase to go to main phase two. If a ref says you can't do that, remind them that you can. It doesn't say, it says skip your next battle phase. It doesn't say end your turn upon activation.
access code. Yep. No, Nightmare Griffin. Activate negate attack. And that's the game. Now that was a win. They're probably fuming right now, and personally, I don't care. They are playing Sprite. And I think we earned that. We earned that pack. So just for y'all, if y'all stuck around this far in the video, And it's a UR. Let's take a little look, shall we? Therian Bull Ein Warrior. Quick Draw Synchron. Naturia Mosquito. Sea Lord's Amulet. Miraculous Descent. Witchcrafter Unveiling. Goki Octo Stretch, kind of creepy looking, and Power Tool Dragon. Not that bad. Not bad at all. And with our new Quick Draw Synchron, so many possibilities open up for us. And it can substitute for a Synchron Tuner, so that opens up a lot of doors for us. Mask Chopper. This destroys an opponent's monster by battle. Inflict 2,000 damage to your opponent. Very good. If we had a Moon Mirror Shield, 
Each phase of monster you control with the same type of energy one of their levels to the current level of the other. Okay, good for Xyz plays. Spirit Force. Hmm, interesting. This would be very good for removing back row. Hmm. But, with that, I'm afraid it's time to end. So if you like what you saw here and you loved that turnaround at that last duel, do let me know in the comment section, as well as hitting like and subscribe for more crazy epic plays like that. But until then, I've been Toaster Quirky Gaming, we've been Master Duel Masochist, and until the next video, ciao! Savannah. Savannah